Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print the right triangle alphabet pattern. So what exactly is this right triangle alphabet pattern? Let me show you directly. So this is how guys a right triangle alphabet pattern looks like. So before writing the code for printing this pattern, we need to find few details by looking at this pattern. First thing we need to find is how many rows are there in this pattern. There are one, two, three, four, five. Total five rows are there in this pattern. Second thing is about alphabets. How many alphabets are there in each and every row? In the first row, there is one alphabet. Second row, two. Third row, three alphabets. Fourth row, four, four alphabets. And fifth row, there are five alphabets. That means if you take any particular row, let's say this is the row number is four. That means how many alphabets will be there in that fourth row? Four alphabets, which is equal to the row number, right? So the first row only one alphabet, second row two alphabets, third row three alphabets, fourth row four alphabets, and fifth row five alphabets, like this case. So rows is equal to five and alphabets is equal to like this. After finding these details by looking at this pattern, now let's use the same details for writing the code and getting this pattern printed. So here let's switch to the Eclipse ID where we can write the code for printing this alphabet pattern. So let's start by implementing this rows case. How many rows are there? Five rows. So here to accommodate that, I'll create a for loop guys, which will iterate five times. So int i is equal to zero, i less than, i less than five, i plus plus. If I write the for loop like this, the first iteration, the value of i will be zero, and next iteration, i will become one guys. So starting from zero, then iteration wise, the value of i will be increased like a zero, one, two, three, four, till four, this uh, condition will become true. That means this for loop will iterate how many times guys? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That means 5 times. This for loop iterates 5 times. Starting from 0 till 4 means 5 times this for loop will iterate. That's fine. Now, inside this for loop, we need to write the code for printing the alphabets. For that, I'll create another for loop. This for loop is meant for printing the alphabets, guys. The inner for loop is meant for printing the alphabets. So here I'll say int j is equal to 0. j less than or equal to i. Why I'm saying j less than or, uh, less than or equal to i? j plus plus. That is the reason guys why I'm saying J less than or equal to I because the number of alphabets in that particular row should be equal to the number of that particular row. Let's say in the first iteration when I is equal to zero. Okay, when I is equal to zero in the first iteration only one alphabet should be printed. Okay, one alphabet should be in the second iteration when I is equal to one then zero and one two alphabets should be printed like that second row in the first row I is equal to zero one alphabet should be printed in the first row. In the second row when i becomes one so since that is the second row two alphabets should be printed so when i say j less than or equal to i okay what will happen starting from zero till one in the second iteration when i is called one so starting from j is called zero till one that means for zero one iteration for one when j becomes one another iteration so two iterations like that guys so if uh, i value becomes like something like three so starting from zero till three zero one two three Okay, when i becomes three means that is uh, nothing but the fourth row. Zero, one, two, three. Four elements will be, four alphabets will be printed here. That's why we are writing this kind of logic case. J less than or equal to i. Based on the row number only, we are printing the alphabets. The alphabet count should, in that particular row should be equal to the row number. That is, this, this is the row number and this should be the alphabet count. J is representing the alphabet count. Now here we will be writing system.out.println. Instead of println, we have to use a normal print statement, guys. And here we need to print the alphabet guys. But how to print the alphabet? I want to print this alphabet A in the first row. How to print this alphabet A? For that guys, uh, we need to understand few things. Here I will say int letter or alphabet, whatever you can call, is equal to int letter or alphabet is equal to. Here I will give some integer number guys, uh, which is an ASCII code, ASCII kind of thing. Okay, let's uh, let me explain in a better way. So here I will search for ASCII table. So if you go to this ASCII table, for every alphabet, there is an associated number, guys. For example, if you take the capital A here, what is the number here? This is a DEC number, decimal number, DEC kind of number, 65. If you want to go for K, the associate number for K is 75 here, right? So for A is 65. If I say int letter is equal to 65, this is a numerical version of the alphabet guys. You can convert this numerical version into an alphabet now. So here while printing, what we can do is, we can print something, we can convert this letter into a character guys, okay? 
we can convert this uh, integer into a kind of character how to convert that so for that what we'll do is we'll say letter okay we'll put that letter inside the circular brackets here and before this letter we'll type cast this letter into like a uh, using the circular brackets uh, i will write char here so here letter is in the numerical format right here integer format 65 65 when you po provide this uh, type casting kind of thing so it will be 65 number should be converted into the char so it will be converted to according to the ascii double if you if you say char of 65 it will become a guys simple okay here a will be returned this will result in a okay char of letter will result in a guys but one more thing we have to do guys you see here if there are if let's say this is a fourth row first alphabet yes for sure letter is 65 char of 65 so a will be printed but after that here a should not be printed here b should be printed we have to increment that how to increment how to increment this letter so that uh, it will print b in the second iteration in the first iteration of the fourth row a will be printed using this thing because 65 is there when you convert 65 into char a will be printed using the print statement but in the second iteration when j becomes 1 when j becomes 1 b should be printed not a for that what we have to do is we have to say letter plus this j guys when i write like this you will see the you will you will understand the logic okay so what happens here is let me explain clearly here in the first iteration i value is 0 okay value of i is 0 0 less than 5 is 2 will go inside and here j is equal to 0 again here j is also zero so zero less than or equal to i that means zero less than or equal to zero true or false true we'll go inside and here we'll be printing this letter the letter we have given as 65 65 plus j what is j zero 65 plus zero is 65 plus zero is 65 only if you convert this 65 into character here a will be printed okay a will be printed here guys here a will be printed after that j will become what 1 j because of j plus plus j will become 1 1 less than or equal to i is 0 guys 1 less than or equal to 0 is false so we'll come out of the inner for loop okay and then i plus plus will happen where i becomes 1 second row 1 less than or equal to 5 here j is equal to 0 again j is 0 0 less than or equal to current value of i is 1 0 less than or equal to 1 true or false true we we'll go inside the for loop and uh, care of again letter plus 0 is 65 plus 0 is 65 only again the second row also your second row also a will be printed fine now j will become 1 because of j plus plus and 1 less than or equal to 1 true that is true guys we'll go inside the for loop here letter plus letter is 65 plus 1 65 plus 1 is 66 So 66, you are converting into char. Earlier you converted 65 into char and it uh, got converted to capital A. Now letter plus one, the 65 plus one, 66, you are converting into char. So what is the associated value of 66? You see B, next value B, guys. 65 is A. 65 plus one is 66. 66 when you convert to char, it will print B. This time, after A, B will be printed here. B has to be printed here. But one more thing we have to do, guys. If you look at this pattern between each and every uh, alphabet which got printed. There is a space, guys. So how to get the space for that? We need to add after printing this uh, character type casted uh, integer value into an alphabet. Uh, then after that, we have to provide space like this. Okay, we have to print along with space. And one more thing, guys. After printing the first row, after printing the a in the first row, we need, the uh, the control has to go to the second row. After printing a b in the second row, the control has to go to the third row, like that. Every time the control has to go to the new row based on the row number. For that, guys, what we can do is uh, we can we can after this for loop we can write a system dot out dot print ln statement system dot out dot print ln statement. This will take the control to the new line. Fine. Now let's see, guys. Uh, we'll get the exact pattern. So we'll get the expected pattern, guys. Now let's I remove all the comments. Now let's run this code. Observe that this pattern will be printed. The first row a then a b a b c a b c d a b c d e. So how can this E, B, and all those things are after printing A, we are incrementing, right? Here you see we are saying plus J. Plus J means in the first iteration zero, so only A will be printed. In second iteration J will become one, so 65 plus one 66. You see 66 is B. In the third iteration 
66 plus 1, 67. C will be printed like that. 68. When 67 plus 1, 68. D will be printed. 68 plus 1, 69. E will be printed like that. Like that, this logic is working, guys. So based on the ASCII code, we are able to convert that into the char data type and then print in the form of the alphabet along with the space. And every iteration, we are every for every row, we are going to the new line here. Simple. Now run this code. You should get the output. Uh, the code is running. You see, we got the exact pattern, whatever we need. So this is nothing but the right triangle, right triangle alphabet pattern, guys. In the first row A is there, then second row A B, third row A B C, A B C D, A B C D E. So this is what is the expected pattern, whatever we are looking for. So hope guys, you understood how to write the Java program to print the right triangle alphabet pattern. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.